is Monday, and this is Real Talk. Well, Sex Talk with Sharon. I'm sorry, I'm getting it all confused. I'm supposed to be doing another show with somebody else. This is Real Talk. Mine is Sex Talk with Sharonda. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Sharonda Parker. And I am the owner of the PPG store here on Florida Boulevard. So I'm going to give you all a chance to um, log in and be able to get on this. And in the meantime, I'm going to log in online. I just want to make sure that we got a good connection. And it looks like we do because I'm, I'm seeing that everybody's able to get in and get on here. And I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend because I had a wonderful weekend I am super excited right now, y'all. I don't know how other parents feel to watch their children grow up. But, you know, our children, they're a representation of us. So when they do well, and I'm not saying this is just all the time, and I'm not saying because your kids don't do well, you're a bad parent. But it really makes you feel like you did your job when you see all of your fussing and preaching and praying, when you're able to see it manifest right there in front of you, you know. So, let's see here. Let me get on this card. Just want to make sure. And today we're going to be talking about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. And I know you may not understand, but if you have been following me for a long time, then you know that when I first got into this industry, I was um, extremely overweight. Um, and, and technically right now I'm still overweight. So when I tell people that I still desire to lose more weight and they like, oh my goodness, you know, um, why do you want to lose more weight? And it's because technically on paper, I'm still considered to be overweight, but we're going to talk about this till I gain weight because sometimes I, I think we don't realize that physical attraction is extremely important. And I see this a lot of times with, um, I see this a lot of times with people who, um, are overweight and they get offended when the, maybe the person that they with are not necessarily digging the weight that they didn't gain. Um, and I'm, I'm this is only from, a a a, 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 a what, what word do I want to say? This is only from the point of view of a person who has been a small person, gained weight in the relationship, and then whatever happened, continued to stay that size or continue or decided to lose weight. Because I can speak from that point of view because when my husband met me, I looked one way. And throughout the years of being married, and I don't like to blame everything on having children, but because of having children and neglecting yourself and eating unhealthy and not exercising and doing certain things throughout the relationship, weight came on. Okay? I'm trying to be able to get on here with y'all. And right now, my iPad is giving me a hard time. So we're going to turn this bad boy off and turn it back on. So, let's talk. When I met my husband, I was 17 years old. Okay? Let me know if y'all can see me. Are y'all having like problems or, or um, technical problems? Let me know if y'all can actually see me. Let me know if it's clear for you. If, if I need to shut it down and start it back over, let me know. Because that's the only way I'm going to know. Just let me know. Hit the little like buttons or something. Let me know that you can see me and hear me fine to make sure that we're not having no technical problems. Okay, you can see me. You can see me. Okay, all right. Okay, because I had somebody saying that it wasn't loading on their end. Okay, good. So that lets me know that everybody should be able to see me. Okay, so let me say this here. When I met my husband, I was 17, and I was an extremely active young person like a lot of young people or I was involved in sports, involved in all types of extracurricular activity and basically I'm on the go and my metabolism, metabolism is at an all time high, right? So when you're young, yeah, it's easy to keep that weight off of you because you're young and you're moving around. Fast forward, I have my first child. Um, with my first child, I think I may have gained maybe 30 pounds, okay? Had my second child. Didn't lose the 30 from the first one. 
have a second child, gain like 30 more pounds, okay? So now I'm up to like maybe 270 at this point, okay? 280, right up in there. My mom passed, well, no, 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 no. I have my third child and I gain weight, okay? My mom passed and then I lose like 40 pounds, okay? Then just throughout life, okay? I gained like another 40, 50 pounds. So over a 10-year period, I have gained like 130, 140 pounds. I'm just going to round it off. 150 pounds that has been gained, okay? My husband met me one way, and throughout 10 years of our marriage, I gained 150 pounds. Now, let me say this to Because a lot of y'all don't like people to be honest with you. Did I like the weight? No, I didn't. Did my husband ever, ever, ever complain about, oh, you too big, you too fat? No. No, he didn't. However, if I'm going to be honest with y'all on here, and I have to be really honest, I can say that I asked my husband, do you like me like this? He said, I love you. I just want you to be healthy. People are going to tell you what you want to hear, y'all. But goddamn, you got to be able to have sense enough to be able to tell yourself, if I don't like the way it looks, how can I get mad about the next person not liking the way it looks? I don't know too many people that's overweight. Most of the people that I know overweight, when I lost my weight, regardless of how much they say they love, they size, they love, they weight, they love this here, them was the same people inboxing me asking how you did it, how you lost it. Every overweight person I know ready to jump on the bandwagon for the next diet, the next pill, the next to do this here, the next to do that there, to lose a motherfucker pound. And some people do it because they have to because they become extremely unhealthy. But some people just don't like the way they look with all that weight on them. Y'all, I would dread going to formal events. Because I hated to try to find something to wear because everything they made in my size looked like it was for somebody 50 and older. There was, it was hard to find nice trending looking stuff for a younger person. But I'm going to be honest with you, even when you did find a nice trendy looking shit for yourself, you still found something wrong with it. Because I don't like the way this look in this hair. I don't like the way that looking at the. I don't like the way I got this lump, this curve, this roll here. Y'all, I can't do nothing but be real with you. So my thing is, if you don't. Get the sleeve surgery, 
half my stomach reduced to a smaller size, eat lesser portions, and I, and I lost the weight. Yeah, you can do the same thing with diet and exercise, and the process may be a little different, but it, it's something that can be controlled. So all I'm saying is you can't get mad when a person don't like the look when they met you a certain way. Some people going to understand where I'm coming from. Some people ain't. I hold myself responsible personally. I'm going to tell you something. Years ago, I paid to have weight loss surgery in Mexico. My husband and I, he, 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 he wasn't really feeling it, but he was being supportive. We went and we took our pictures for our passports. We submitted our paperwork for our passports. We went and got our passports. And two weeks before the surgery date, he told me, I'm not feeling this. Uh, I'm not feeling this. Like, I ain't knocking the surgery, but I just don't want you to go to Mexico to do it. So, I contacted them. I got all my money back. Here it is, two years later. From that date that I paid, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to do it myself. I'm going to try to lose the weight. I'm going to try to do this here. He was like, okay, I'm going to help you. I'm going to try. But guess what? Life happens. And you start off eating healthy. You start off exercising. And then before you know it, one week you ain't go to the gym turns into two weeks. And for a whole year, we had to play for a Planet Fitness membership that we never used. Because life happens. I made the decision. I had to make a decision for me. I'm going to get this weight loss surgery. Now I found another doctor that would do it, and he charged twice the amount of Mexico. So I said, I'm going to come up with the weight, and I'm going to save this money, and I'm going to have the surgery. And if you remember, if you've been following me long enough, you started seeing me posting that I was selling strawberries. I sold strawberries and made enough money to save and go have this surgery. A, a little over $10,000. I sold strawberries. I had the weight loss surgery. It didn't end there. I decided, I knew once I had this surgery, because at this point I had entered in all type of weight loss groups online to just get knowledge. And I knew that when you have the surgery, losing a, a dramatic amount of weight like this, you're going to have a lot of extra hanging skin. So guess what? I decided to save money again to do the skin removal. That was another $10,000. I saved for a year. $10,000 for the skin. I'm $20,000. Really about $25,000 in this right about now. Because the skin removal was more than $10,000. So all I'm saying is, at some point, you got to make a decision for yourself. And even if you losing the weight for me, it was I was doing it for me. Because I did not like being overweight. And I did not like the look of being overweight. And I'm woman enough to say that. Yeah, I dealt with it. And no, I didn't have no low self-esteem or nothing like that. But I did not like it. And that's my personal preference. I didn't. So I did what I felt like I needed to do. The second time I paid to have surgery, my husband didn't even know I had to save the money I had to pay for the date. He didn't even know. I told him the Friday before the surgery on the Monday that I'm having the surgery. It's already paid for. Because I didn't want nobody trying to distract me and discourage me and tell me I'm going to work out with you and I'm going to eat right with you and do it the natural way. I did that. I tried that. It didn't work for me. So I didn't want to go through that again. So I saved the money, paid for it, and I told him, it's already paid for. Simple as that. All I'm saying is, if you don't like it, you can't get mad when the next person don't like it. If you don't like it, do something about it. Whether it's change your diet, whether it's exercise, whether it's whatever it is that you feel like you got to do, go lay on the table like I did, shit, two times. And one thing about me, anything that I do, I'm woman enough to say it. And people will be like, oh, she ain't do it the natural way, so fucking what, I paid for it. I did it the way I wanted to do it. So people inbox me all the time because they want to do it, but they worry about what the next motherfucker going to say because of the, the process they, that they chose to take. You do what works best for you. Yes, Medicaid pays for it. Unfortunately, I make too much money for Medicaid. But if you get Medicaid, they do pay for it. Their process is completely different than a cash pay, a cash pay process. I'm not really familiar with their process because that's not the 
the process that I did it. Some insurance will pay for it. You got to, you know. Because I lost so much weight in my um, 
upper part to I still have extra weight in my arms that I can take and put in my breast to make them fuller to where they don't look like they fucking pancakes when I take my bra off and I don't have to wear a push up bra <laughs> see I ain't too scared to tell you this but some people they, they not gonna say all of that you know they very private and I get that and I understand that okay do, 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 do. Yes, I got the sleeve. I did not get the lap band. I did not get the gastric bypass. I opted to do the sleeve surgery. That's when they remove a portion of your stomach. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Best decision. I'm, I was happy to be able to walk you through it, Mamie. And a lot of other women that inbox me and be like, I started my process. If I got questions, can I contact you? Yes, you can always contact me. Um, another thing with surgery, yes, you have to take your vitamins. A lot of people say, well, you don't look like, you don't look sick because I take my vitamins faithfully. I take them. Especially the first couple of years after you have surgery, you really got to be on it because a lot of people end up back in the hospital because they're malnourished. And it's not because they're a small person. It's because they're not getting the nutrients that they need from eating and they're, they're not getting it because they're not taking their vitamins. So even when you do this, you still have to follow the doctor's orders. OK, uh, let's see. I love that you're so open and honest. I don't know no other way to be, baby. Um, no health issues for me. I just want to lose weight for myself. And that's the thing. You don't want to get to the point like where I was, where this weight just keep coming on and coming on and coming on. And it takes health issues to make you have to lose the weight. It's, it's not fun, y'all, to not be able to walk. I remember the first time I went to Vegas, I was extremely overweight when I went. And I was very embarrassed because... I had to ask for a seatbelt extension on the plane. That was humiliating. Another uh, time that I was extremely humiliated was when my husband and I decided to go to the fair. And I got on the ride and we... I couldn't ride the rides because the, the um, seatbelt would strap over me. That was very hurtful. That was embarrassing to sit on that ride and not be able to ride that ride and have to get off of that ride. And I'm a woman that's 26 years old. And I can't even ride the rides at the amusement park because I'm just that overweight. That's humiliating. It is. It's humiliating for your child at five years old to say, that's my mama over there, the one that looked like she pregnant. But she was five. And she didn't know no other way to describe me other than to say, that's my... Mama over there, the one that looked like she pregnant, and I wasn't pregnant. So all I'm going to say is, only you know when enough is enough. And only you know when you need to make certain decisions for yourself. Okay? So...